So, tell me what happened. Well, we were all sat around a table studying for our exam next week. There was Sophie, Kelly and Sam. And as I was looking around, they were intensely studying and vigorously making notes. The silence was unsettling. As I was studying, I stumbled upon an issue. I had two cue cards in front of me. I've been struggling to understand them. I was confused. I didn't understand what they meant, so I thought I could ask my peers to see if they would explain it. So, I asked. Hey guys, do you remember the guest lecturer who came in called Mr Gunn? Yeah, what about it? What did he mean by quantitative and qualitative research? And that is when she looked up. Oh my god, it's qualitative and quantitative research. How do you not know what they are? We've been using the technique for three years now. Qualitative research is about opinions and views and quantitative research is about hard facts and figures. Okay, but how do you tell them apart? I didn't get it. I had no idea what Sophie's problem was. I only asked a question. No need for that sass. Okay, let's put it this way. Qualitative. Quality. Personal opinion. Quantitative. Research. Quantity. Numbers, measurements, etc. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. It did. A little. I wrote down the definitions. I later found out they were the wrong way round, but (laughs) at least they were there. Hey guys, can you believe that in two weeks' time we officially finish uni? I know. I haven't a clue what I'm going to do. I'm hoping to be a psychologist. With your carriage, you'll get the job easily. Like, look at Sam. She's got one with the police as a forensic psychologist. Mm. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> Thanks. Just a lot of hard work, I guess. Just keep looking, Sophie. Something will pop up. Hey, Georgia. What do you want to do? I don't think you've ever said. Sorry, what? What career do you want? Oh. I hope to become a researcher. And that's when they laughed at me. (laughs) A researcher? How do you expect to be a researcher when you don't know the difference between qualitative and quantitative research? Well, I can learn. I just find the words confusing. They're too similar. I didn't think I had to defend myself. Not really. They're both felt differently and mean different things. I could see the confusion. Yes, but she should know them by now. She doesn't know the difference between the two. It's not that hard. Have you got any other career ideas? Not really. I was invested in becoming a researcher. Why would I change careers? I want to be a researcher. Was that really so wrong? What about a job in admin? Instead of researching things, she just... Distribute it. She can't be an admin. She can't stick to deadlines and she's always making Mm. excuses. What's that supposed to mean? What the fuck? Have you tried something in the creative industry? You're good at art. They all stared at me. I wasn't going to stand for this. They're my friends meant to support me, not knock me down. I lost control. I have just as much potential as you guys. I work hard and try my best. I can be a researcher. I don't want to be an artist. I think it's good to have options, but just remember you're competing against a lot of other graduates, so it's always good to keep an open mind. Maybe if you just put more time and effort into your studies, then you might have done better. I mean, your grades haven't been up to par, and you might not even get a graduateship. I work hard. Hmm. As a student, though, you're expected to be responsible and independent with your studies, rather than expecting us to do the work for you. Maybe then you would have got further with your education. I have. I have tried to understand the syllabus. I just find it a bit difficult. I just need a little bit of help. And that was it. They gave up. We have tried explaining terminology to you. We have tried helping you with your assignments. But it just seems to go in one ear and out the other. We need to focus on our studies and our future. I mean, we've tried to help you for so long... But if you're not getting yourself, we can't help you. Maybe we should just leave you to figure it out yourself. You can't seem to keep up with us, and we need to study too. They all got up, walked out of the door, and left me. Are you coming, Sam? Yeah.